This video is going to demonstrate how to adjust the VAT value on purchase orders and purchase invoices when there is a discrepancy with your supplier invoice. I'm going to start with the purchase orders. So I'm going to purchasing purchase orders and I'll use this top one as an example. So in this case, I've actually written in the notes here um, the values that I actually want. Um, so from the, I can't show you the, the supplier invoice, but this is the values from the supplier invoice. And you see in Dynamics, um, you can see that we actually have a difference on the VAT, which is affecting the total invoice. Now this happens when systems handle VAT differently, so to explain to the users why you sometimes come across this. Some systems add the VAT on each line and then total that amount of VAT. And some systems add all of the lines together and then add VAT to a single value. Um, so this issue is system wide. It doesn't matter what system you use. If the person you're buying from or selling to uses a system that calculates it in a different way, then you may get this one penny discrepancy. So to solve this issue, um, I need our VAT to equal £16.54. And to do this, under process, I go to statistics. From this screen, I can actually adjust the total price of the invoice if I wanted to, but I don't. I want to just adjust the VAT. So where it says number of VAT lines, you can see I have one. And if I open this, I can actually, you'll notice that these fields aren't clickable, but this one actually is. So I'm going to change this to £16.54, which you can see has changed the total invoice, including VAT, to £99.21. If I close this down, I need to refresh the lines, but you now see that our invoice matches the supplier invoice. That's how you do it on a purchase order. To do it on a purchase invoice, it's even simpler. The reason why purchase order's got an extra step is because a purchase order just has more features than purchase invoices. So to do it on a purchase invoice, it is the same. You go to invoice, statistics, and then from this screen, you can actually change the VAT amount here. I don't need to go down to the extra screen. So I can just change this to um, £28.84, for example. And it's changed, updated the invoice here. Now, your systems will be set up to an allow a tolerance of 10p. You shouldn't ever need more than a tolerance of 1p, very occasionally 2p. But the tolerance will not let you adjust the VAT by more than 10 pence. So this is not a shortcut to actually just put whatever VAT figure that you want within the system. Um, you must use the VAT product posting groups correctly because this is ultimately what will affect your VAT return. So I hope that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, then please let me know in the forum or in the YouTube video. Thank you.